What's going on guys? This is Empty Box and this is Out Racing Sprint Cars okay, from ready. Martinsville. We're uh, going to be doing a 50 lap race here at the Paperclip. And I'm actually surprised because this is the first time I've driven here in Out Racing and man it seems like this track has a lot more banking than what I thought it did. Green, green, green. Anyways, this race didn't split. 20 car field, maximum grid. Which means that we have a variety of talent levels. Clear. Starting somewhere in the back. Just kind of looking forward to settling into a groove as usual. Especially in this car. So much. So much grooving is required. Inside. Keep high. The yellow flag is out. Line up single file. Bit road is closed. What? What? <laughs> I had that guy. I had him. I was ahead of him. I'm calling BS on that one. That was, that was bull. <laughs> Gonna have to thin the field out a little bit because, again, this car is extraordinarily difficult to drive. We have a wide variety of talent and ability levels in this car in this race right now so it might be a little bit of a rough start but I have good faith that in typical sprint car fashion here in I race and the racing will clean up and we'll have a uh, good solid green flag run because honestly this track isn't uh, particularly difficult I'd have to say I actually really like this place same with Stafford kinda like these tracks where you have uh, have to break into the corner and and everything like that and you can I guess take a more traditional approach to it than <laughs> what I'm used to but uh, anyways gonna cut out the rest of the yellow and we'll get back to the green flag race okay we're getting ready to go back to green flag racing single single file restart as is the norm in the sprint car series here kinda interested to see how this one plays out green flag, green flag. Okay, that's how it plays out. We go absolutely nowhere. Ay 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 ay. It's kind of lame, but again, like I said, gotta thin the field out. And at least here on a short track, the cautions aren't too terribly long. So, again, on to the next restart. Okay, I'm feeling good about this one. I'm feeling good about this one. Back to back yellows that usually indicates that people are gonna gonna settle down a little bit. We should have no real problem. Hopefully. Ooh, buddy, does this thing gain speed? Car inside. Clear. Outside. Ah! Stay low. There's a car on the Undies have been soiled. Clear outside. Outside. Clear outside. Oh, that's Ryan. He knows how to drive these things. <laughs> It's like, who in the world is that guy on the inside there? Turn three and four. That guy is on. That guy is a nutso. Okay, there we go. Ah! Come on! <laughs> Come on! That kind of sucked though, I just scooted up a little bit there in 3 and 4 and then number 4 there got underneath me and I was trying to position myself in a way that we were most likely to not wreck and I mean I guess I did get past the other guy but we did lose a position or I don't know. I don't even know what happened. This this is just like a blur and you, know, you just use your right foot, use your left foot sparingly, use your hands and hang on for dear life. <laughs> that's how you drive the sprint car here in high racing. That's that's how it's done. So, uh, anyways, on to the real start. Feeling really good about this one. Really good. Okay, getting ready to go back to green flag racing. Hopefully we get a nice long green flag run to finish out this race. Because I'm really the type of person that I need a... Uh, green flag, green flag. I need a rhythm. I think that's why typically I've never been very good in qualifying. 
as well as why I tend to struggle on the restarts here in this car. It's like the car just straightens up coming off of the corner. It's like there's a little bit of banking that just drops away. And you feel like the car is really loose and then it just tightens up right as you go over the right over the transition. Inside. Clear. Car inside. Clear inside. Inside. Clear. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. No comment on that zero X. <laughs> Too busy. guys just drive it in so deep. Car outside. Still there. Clear outside. Car outside. Clear. Car outside. Clear. You're in the top ten. The yellow flag is out. Line up. Just run me over for crying out loud. Just drive right over the top. Okay, so I guess we gained one and we lost one. Yeah, woohoo. That's pretty fun though. <laughs> pretty, pretty intense stuff. No biggie though. Car's probably not damaged. Shouldn't be damaged. We do have this uh, rear crash structure thing that you can see. On the 16 car there in front of me, so shouldn't have any issue. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the racing. Okay, and we're getting ready to go back to green flag racing. Starting in 10th position. Looks like we're going a little bit earlier here. <laughs> oh boy. Reckon, reckon, reckon. No! No! Brakes! Why you no brake? Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> the car doesn't stop. <laughs> Dang! I, I thought I had it avoided. Catch the 17 car. I thought I had it avoided, then the car just isn't going to stop, and there's cars. It's trying to follow the car in front of me through, and he ended up getting into it, and I'm like, oh crap. He is now in the, the gap that I would like to go through. This car isn't going to turn left. Yeah, we're pretty much doomed. Thank you, Jason, for being on your toes, buddy. We just, uh, <laughs> we just moved about halfway through the field on that. Yeah, there's not a lot of room to get by here, so I was kind of holding my breath. That hurts us. The car's going to be smoking. damaged in some fashion, but we're not going to make a pit stop. We're going to have less than 10 laps to go. When we get to the restart here, so let's see how the positions are going to sort themselves out. Looks like we'll probably be in 11th, oh, which we were 10th on that 
that previous restart, but I think we could have definitely gotten past that 16 car. Just, uh, things didn't go our way. Most unfortunate. Most unfortunate. Went high, and, uh, there was cars high. Simple as that. Simple as that. So I really felt like I had that one avoided. Recognized it early, and... Well, that's that. So, anyways, back to the green flag racing. Not okay, and we're getting ready to go back to green flag racing. We're <laughs> scooting through the lap traffic, which has to go to the end of the longest line. So, all well, the positions in front of me are, well, full position. Don't know what we got. Car could... Ah! Come on, 20. Car definitely feels a whole heck of a lot tighter now. Outside. Clear. What the... the what the flip? What the flip? <laughs> Did that guy just... Did that guy just lose it? Who was that? <laughs> By me, Jenna. Is that you? Pit road is now open. I'm going down the straightway into the corner, and all of a sudden, just like guy ricochets off of me into the wall. I take a look at that one in replay. This has definitely not been a one of the best sprint car races ever. Yeah, it's been a bit of a bloodbath, but then again, it is Martinsville, and I think we'll probably get it's telling me to pit for repairs. So uh, one more restart in all likelihood, which means they won't score you, I don't think. Which means, uh, yeah, one more opportunity for for death. But I am quite surprised at the resiliency of this sprint car, I must say. Because I've hit a bunch of stuff this race, apparently, and uh, I've been hit a couple of times, I feel like, but uh, we're soldiering on. So anyways, on to the final restart. Oh, buddy, here we go. We got one lap shootout. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> inside. <Clear> inside. <laughs> Woo! That was the last lap right there. <laughs> That's. <Inside. laughs> the <laughs> Great job! You did really well. <laughs> that last lap. Woo! Is that how you're supposed to drive this thing? <laughs> it just. I just got down the straightaway and I'm like, screw it, the car's pointed somewhat straight, I'm just gonna bury it and see if we can leave this guy in the dust. Getting into turn three and all of a sudden I'm like, I've never gone this fast before. What do I do? Okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. <laughs> oh, whew. That, was a, that, that last lap was almost worth it. I probably will look like almost every other lap to you guys, but that last lap was, that was, uh, that was the stuff of legend. <laughs> from my perspective, at least for my driving talent. I really, whoo, whoo, yeah. Just like lock up the left front going into turn one. Threshold breaking, that's what it's doing right there. But, uh, roll on the carnage report. <laughs> I almost became the carnage report there, and then I'm like, hey, yeah, we're just gonna dirt track this thing off of four. I'm just gonna go ahead and go sideways. We held the position, though. We held the position. So that's good. So uh, roll on the carnage report. Hope you guys enjoyed. All right, bye. Here is the first caution where I totally passed the 16 car, but I apparently actually didn't. The pink and white car up ahead will lose control coming off of turn two. Just too much power. 
and around it goes. And watch this. If there was no yellow, I would have gotten past that uh, 19 car there. Guarantee it. And that would have been like the most awesome overtake in the history of sprint car overtakes, I'm pretty darn sure. Or, I guess, excuse me, passes. Uh, this is oval racing, we don't call them overtakes here. What is the meaning of that madness? But uh, just to demonstrate the fact that I was indeed ahead of that guy, here is when the caution lights come out. Right there is the last frame available without caution lights, and there they come on. I am ahead of the guy! Come on! We get a Clearly see, 7 is ahead of 16. But I guess iRacing has realistic timing loops, and caution flags just have to rain on my parade because that totally would have been awesome to pass like four cars in the span of one straightaway at Martinsville. Anyways, on to the next wreck. And here we have the second wreck. The 20 car is going to clip the inside curbing, causing him to kind of bounce up in front of the 8 car. And, well, garnage ensues. 20 car backs into the wall. That's the crunch you hear right there. And mostly carnage avoided. Mostly. Caution number three. The throttle pedal in a sprint car should be respected greatly. It is a dangerous weapon that could go off at any time if treated improperly. Too much power. Turns right into the wall. Comes across the track. Gets in front of the 17. And there's caution number three. Caution number four. Hey, look it. That's me in the seven car there. To the inside. There's the door open. Just kind of squeeze on in there. Nice precise driving if I do say so myself. And I'm rewarded by getting run over in turn one. Yeah. Anyways, racing instant. No harm, no foul. It hurt him more than it hurt me, so I'm not mad. Next caution. All right, caution number a lot. Here's the big one that took out a couple of cars and I missed, which I wasn't happy with. Thought the 16 car had a way through and I was going to follow him and it turned out that the yellow-green car <laughs> ended up in the middle and things just didn't work out. I would have just taken the normal line like I should have. Wouldn't have been a problem. Spinning cars will always go up the track. Duh. Should have known that. My fault for not avoiding. And here's the final restart. There's no carnage on this restart, but I want to explain a couple of things. First of all, I actually got a good restart in this car, or the 18 car got a poor restart. An awesome left front lock up there on corner entry. That's really good on an oval. Really sideways. And here I'm thinking, I can pass the 16 car. I'm not even lying to you. For some reason, I, I thought I was going to pass that guy from about 20 car lengths back. I, yeah, totally stupid idea. And somehow we managed to save it. And then, well, it dawns on me. 16, 19, the two cars that I pretty much had passed when the first yellow came out. I was definitely ahead of the 16. And I was in the process of passing the 19, and I feel pretty comfortable in saying I would have passed the 19. But, yeah, <laughs> got robbed, man. But hey, I guess that's how timing loops work. Again, who knows how different this race could have been if they just honored my pass. I want a refund for my pass. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I bye.